my goodness, you guys are adorable. Oh, jeez, he packs a punch. How's it going, everyone? Dana Finesse here, and today we are back with another Minecraft mod showcase, and today we are going to be showcasing the Minecraft Revolution mod. Now, this is a fairly older mod, but it actually was just upgraded to Minecraft 1.8 um, a couple days ago, so we're going to be looking at this today. So the first thing we have, I think we're going to look at this, and yes, it is a green screen, and this is what it looks like, so that's actually super cool. If you like wanted to make some sort of Minecraft kind of movie type of thing, you have this green screen, you could plop it right into your editing thing, and that would actually work as a green screen. So to craft this, you do three lime wall on the top, two stone on either side, a glowstone, and then three lime wool, and that will actually give you eight of these um, these green screen blocks. Place them down just like any normal Minecraft blocks, and you have yourself a little green screen, which I think is a super cool add to this mod. It's a little bit random to what the rest of the mod is, but you know, I'll take it. It's super cool. So the next thing we have is pretty much the cool part of this mod, and we have three things. They're named a little bit weird, but I'm sure that will be upgraded, um, or rather updated pretty soon. So we have the normal spider, which is not very normal. We have a different spider from the nether, no wait, that's the human, and then this is the spider from the nether. So let's actually switch these up and first take a look at the spider. So let's spawn in, what is this one? The normal spider, and this is not normal as you will see in a sec. Look at these, <laughs> they're so small, they're actually kind of cute. So actually let me change it into game mode S, are they going to attack me? What if I hit one? Oh jeez. I don't think I can hit one. Yes, you can. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh, they attack. Game mode. See, okay, wow, so those guys actually pack a punch, but they are kind of funny looking. They will spawn naturally in your world. And, yeah, that is the quote-unquote normal spider. So the next one we have is the spider from the nether, and if we spawn this in, it is pretty cool looking, pretty scary. kind of looks like it's from the nether because it's, like, red and all weird and stuff. And, yeah, that is the nether spider. Hey, get out of my lab, punk. Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. We don't want you in here. So yeah, those are going to be your spider spawn eggs for the revolution mod. The last thing we have is really the big part of this mod. Those are kind of extras, and these are the humans. So if we spawn in a human, hello Ollie, how are oil? That's bizarre. So anyway, you can spawn in these humans. They also will generate naturally in your world. They're kind of variations of the sieve skin with some incredibly creative names. Oh, jeez. So... How these guys work is if you right click on them, you can click ally, and they will ally if you give them two bread. So let's get ourselves some spell bread, please. There we go. Wow, that's embarrassing. I need to go back to school. Anyway, here is our bread. So we're going to ally. All right, take two bread. So now he is on our ally, and he is going to punch that spider. Oh, dang. Yeah, get him. Yes. Oh, yes. And we can actually help this guy out. So let's get ourselves a diamond sword. And if we go up to our friend Oil, I guess, that's that's bizarre, we can give him this item and now he will use a diamond sword and just manhandle that spider, which is super cool. So now you can ally people, they will fight whatever mobs you spawn in. So let's get ourselves in a zombie and watch our little friend Ollie completely destroy him. So if there's a mob right here, let's say I hit him. So if I hit him once or twice, I'll oil, gosh, I keep calling him oil. I'm going to call you Ollie because that's a normal name. Ollie will just go to work on that guy and he will kill him for you and we will get ourselves some rotten flesh. But I don't care about rotten flesh right now. So another thing you can do with these guys is you can um, go here, give item, and then it will say, do you want to give the human the bread or would you like to feed it to him? So if I give him the item, he will drop the diamond sword and he'll take the bread. So if I give him this back, I will get the bread back. Or I can give it to him and feed him, and that will, if he has lost some health, so now he's at 10, so it won't really matter, but if I feed him, that will bring his health back up. So it's the same with these guys. Let's try and get an army of them just to show you that you can actually get, oh my gosh, don't throw it. Jeez, what are you doing? So let's go feed your pap. Beautiful. Oh, jeez, you are low on health. Three bread. All right, that's, that's a little bit stingy, but... There we go. Let's just give him that item. You can have the bread. Actually, you know what? No. Give me that back, please. You can have some string. Where's the bread? There we go. And let's ally with Ovut. Sure, take the bread. Oh, we don't have two bread, but you know, we don't need you anyway. So does that change every time? 
Or yeah, every time you click on them, the bread actually changes. So you could wait till you get to um, one bread to make the most out of your allies. So let's see, can we give him arm? Um, that's not, we need to spell chest plate. Let's see if we can armor him up. I don't think we can, but you know, we might as well try. So, oh, sick. Oh man, you can completely kit out these humans. So yeah, you can give them armor, anything, and that will actually boost their attack and defense. So yeah, that is pretty much going to do it for the Revolution Mod. If you guys like this, a thumbs up would be appreciated, and I will see you all in the next video. See ya!